Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dory, and if this is your first time here, make sure to do three things. Hit subscribe, hit like, and hit the bell button. That way, we can stay in touch. So, today we are making some good stuff. If you don't know my story, click the link on the screen so you can learn a little bit about me. Now, ha! Huh, what are we gonna make? We're gonna use our red lentil batter that we've been making in our red lentil batter series. Click the link on the screen so you can be guided to that recipe. And we're gonna be making what I call the everything but the plate waffles. They are super good, super huge. And y'all know how I feel about super good and super huge. So let's go with this no flour recipe that saves me every single time. As always, the timestamps for this video, the ingredients, the process, the tools is linked. It's all linked in the description below. My everything but the plate waffles are a go-to in my kitchen. I use this for a few reasons. To use up vegetable scraps, to be able to have a meal on the go, and to be able to have one meal that has absolutely everything I need, and that way I don't have to do a lot of food math. Taking 10 ounces of vegetable scraps and 6 ounces of red lentil batter along with 1 ounce of cheddar cheese. You'll mix all of this together and you've got a complete vegetable, protein, and fat serving. I'll use my waffle maker, which by the way is linked in the description below. I love this waffle maker because I don't have to sit there and make one waffle at a time. I put this huge mound in my Belgian waffle maker and everything cooks low and slow at a level one. While that's happening, I go do other things and check it from time to time to make sure it's crisping up. I even do flip it to the other side even though it's double plated because I really like it crispy. Then I'll get my fruit together for lunch, my kitchen scissors, and I will cut my waffle. So here I have a very generous portion size of four very thick waffles that have my vegetable protein and fat serving all in one sometimes when i'm on the go this is extremely handy because i wrap it in aluminum foil and i head out the door i make these everything but the plate waffles in a variety of different ways and i use them at any meal breakfast lunch or dinner it's a great tool to be able to get all your veggies in, all your fat, and your protein. So I do hope that you enjoy having fun creating your waffles. You can make them crispy, thick, savory, or sweet. It is entirely up to you, and you can always make these as a vegan option as well. Surprise, it's me again, and I've got more leftovers, so let's do something new in the way of the everything but the plate waffle. I'm going to take five ounces of scrap carrots that I have left over in my fridge and get those in the mini food processor so we can get those nice and ground. From there, I'm going to grab three ounces of green lentil batter. That's all that I have left of this batter that didn't work so well for waffles, but we're going to use it up anyway. Adding to that one egg, this completes my protein. So right now, we're adding nutritional yeast. So here in this bowl, we have one egg, three ounces of green lentils, and five ounces of carrots. Mixing it all up together, getting it back on my scale so I can get my fat serving in here, which is going to be my cheese at one ounce. Trigger warning here, check the description below for substitutions. I'm going to add a little boost of fiber with some psyllium husk, and this will help to hold it together. Meanwhile, what's going to happen is we're going to put it in the fridge and let it sit for a few. Taking my brand new waffle maker, we're going to use the square plates so we can try to make a waffle sandwich. So after we've let this batter sit for a while, we're going to spoon it carefully into the square waffle plates. What I've noticed about the square waffle plates is that it is not as easy to make the waffles that we previously did in the Belgian waffle maker. So we've got to do this carefully. Spooning it in nice and thick, you're going to then top it with everything but the bagel seasoning. Do not latch it closed. Leave the latch up. This will take quite a long time to cook, but I can do other things while it's cooking. Now, since I've already used my fat serving and I want a spread for my sandwich, I'm going to go ahead and make a spread using my freebies. Now, you see, I keep checking the waffles because it's taking incredibly long to make. 
I'm gonna take some capers and add to that some horseradish and mustard. Now, I wanna squish down my capers using my pestle from my mortar and pestle. Adding the prepared horseradish, not sauce, only horseradish, grated, and spicy brown mustard. We're gonna get that all mixed up while the waffles continue to cook. Now, because they are taking long, I am gonna flip them to the other side, so that way they can crisp up on the other side, and I will also put them in my toaster. This is one of the things that I really dislike about the square waffle plates, is that it does take long to cook. Now, while that is toasting up, I'm gonna get my fruit together, my waffles are done, and it's time to make my sandwich. Using my freebie spread, which is so delicious, we're gonna go ahead and get that in all the grooves of the waffle. We're gonna get tomatoes, which are my last bit of tomatoes and onions left to complete my vegetables at another five ounces. So essentially this Bright Line Eating Lunch is 10 ounces of vegetables, one full serving of protein, one full fat serving, and my fruit. And here we go. I have to tell you, it was worth the wait. Even though it took quite a long time for these waffles to get off the ground, this sandwich was huge, had everything I needed, and it was delicious. That free food spread was delicious. The capers, the fresh horseradish, the spicy brown mustard, it was fabulous. I will definitely do this again, and of course, I'll multitask while everything's cooking.